Hi, okay, so I thought I'd just make a quick video here. So you need a wheel mouse or a scroll mouse. It's a if you don't know what it is, Google it. Um it's basically a mouse with a wheel. Make sure you have that. Um right now when I'm moving the wheel mouse right now, it adjusts this um I guess the horizontal plane. So that's one function. And then there's the vertical adjustment. So there's two ways to adjust this. Uh, if you just move your mouse over here and now use your wheel mouse, just roll the, the wheel, you can adjust this. Or oftentimes I do it this way. If you move your mouse in this column here and then click and hold the left mouse button. So I'm clicking and holding. And now I'm moving the mouse slightly up and down with my hand and so this is what I, you want to do when you're drawing a trend line so let's let's draw a quick trend line so i'm on the two hour chart i said to i said for you to try different um time frames like uh whatever your account shows you so you can do the four hour one hour five minutes but right now i'm just going to do it on the two hour time frame so you want to be able to do this. See how I'm scrolling this and then I, I can adjust this. I don't want you to be like out here. It, we don't draw trend lines when we're out here. We don't, we don't, hold on, where's my trend line tool? We don't draw like this. It just, it's not accurate. We don't, we can't see in detail what we're touching here. So we don't do that. So, uh, but say, you could just do a rough, draw it rough like that. I call it the rough trend line. And then you can, you know, you can zoom in, you can adjust this, get in there, right? This is me using the wheel. Wheel. You can scroll up and down like this. Um, and then here, then you can zoom in and say, okay, I'm making it touch right there. Uh, maybe this can use a little bit of adjustment. So I'll do it like this. You know, now it's just touching right there. This little wick just fell above it and then price fell down. So it's a good trend line. And then even you can just adjust it a little bit, see how it looks. If you touch it here, you can kind of, you can kind of leave it like that. So it kind of hits here, hits here and hits here. That's how you draw a trend line. That's how you draw an accurate trend line. And once you learn how to draw an accurate trend line, whether it's downtrend or uptrend, then you can draw channels. If you know how to draw a trend line, then you can draw a channel. So a channel, sorry, that's my wife. Um, this is how you draw a channel, but it all starts with drawing a proper trend line, okay? I, so one other thing I wanted to show you is um, when when zooming zooming in on a certain spot here. If you hold if on a PC if you hold down the I think it's a control hold on control yeah. So I'm holding down the control key on the keyboard and now using my wheel mouse. Now it now it zooms where um, my mouse is focused. So if I want to if I want to zoom in on this spot here, I'm hold the control key and it it kind of just adjusts keeps it in the middle basically. Just try it. So basically, if you're on a on a Mac, I think it's the Command key. Um, you should be able to make sure you go here um, under this keyboard shortcuts here. Keyboard shortcuts. So click here, keyboard shortcuts. It'll uh, chart. Um, zoom in. Uh, there's a one second, Baba. Um, A zoom function here. Uh, one second. Just make sure you know all of these. Just try them out. Focus zoom right here. Focus zoom. Control plus wheel mouse. And I think it's command on a MacBook. So just try the. This is the other thing. So you need to know how to do this. I'm holding the control key and using my scroll mouse. And now I'm letting go of it. Now I'm just using the wheel wheel mouse it does this and then here make sure you know how to adjust this you can do it by holding the left mouse key or 
using the wheel mouse like I am right now. Anyways, practice those three, make sure you know how to do it. Uh, that's basically being able to adjust the charts.